Good morning, everyone. My name is Jen Lawrence. I am the owner of Tiny Anchor Studios, and I am running the chief account for today. So I'm glad you guys are here. I'm going to use the account today to show you primarily how I use it, uh, mostly in the design field. Obviously, there's a lot of structural implications that Chief has. I probably underutilize those because the majority of the work that I do is design focused. So um, I'm going to talk a lot today about the finishes, how I render um, my ways of developing my designs, and also how I use it for Zoom. I know a lot of you guys are probably working from home. I know I'm doing that a lot more. Normally I'm not in a ponytail and a vest sitting in my house. Um, I'm usually in the field, but these are different times. And I'm grateful that we have tools that we can use to communicate with clients regardless of where we are. So stay tuned. All right, this right here, that's a great question. Um, one of the things I use Chief Architect for a lot is showing people what's possible. So it's a lot easier to show them what you can do in a computer, right? You don't have to take down walls, you just like boop and it's gone. I've been using Chief for three years. Um, the majority of it was self-taught. I did take a number of classes, both in person when they were offered um, after KBiz, which was awesome, but it's awfully hard to, to like retain a whole lot after you've been on your feet for five days straight. 100%. You do not need cat experience to pick it up. I think like anything, the more you do it, the better you get. I also think that it's smart to create a network of other people who use it. So um, if you are someone who uses Chief and wants to create said network, reach out to me so we can connect. So I've mentioned to you guys that I use a Zoom meetings a lot when I deal with clients. Um, this has become particularly important with COVID because a lot of people don't want to meet in person. And I'm actually finding it's a great efficiency for me because when I used to hold meetings with a client and I would show them chief out on it on my laptop, which just isn't as powerful as my desktop. So because I'm able to stay in the comfort of my home and um, hold my meetings that way, it's just a lot more efficient for me. So I'm going to walk you through the way I do it. So one of my favorite ways to show plans to clients is to develop them in a multitude of ways, but doing it all within the same house, just on different floors. So this, as you can see, is floor one. If you toggle up, you go to two, which is different than three then four and five. Now, in this case, um, like, let's say I wanted to add another floor, you'd go to build floor, build new floor. And you're going to use the same plan. Yes. Now you have a template for that floor based on the exact same one that you've already used. So Chief, you're used to seeing things in plan view, but clients, while this is helpful, they care a lot more about how things look when it's going to have all the finishes and understand the layout. This is what they get. They don't really get the other thing quite as much. So I find it really important to be able to show them these. And if you keep it all in the same house, in the pre like I showed you in the previous videos, it's really easy to toggle and their vantage point doesn't change, but clearly the things that they are able to see and appreciate in the room, it does. Now, we went a little crazy with finishes on this one. We don't always do that for all of the clients because it takes a lot of work. I mean, you guys know that when you're starting to get these finishes and in order to get them right, it's it's not easy. So um, I don't recommend you doing this every single time, but the more you do it, the faster you get. And I, I feel like that's how I'm able to produce drawings like this. These were done probably over the course of a day, maybe. Um, I don't really remember, but it was, it, I've gotten much more efficient as 